with any health scan. Following the recommended guidelines will produce reliable results. It is recommended to test every two to four weeks under similar conditions in order to effectively track progress. If an initial test was taken in the morning, it is recommended to maintain the same conditions for subsequent tests, if possible. This will ensure that the changes observed are a direct result of recent lifestyle changes to diet or exercise, rather than external factors. Prior to testing, do maintain your normal fluid intake the day before. Stand upright for at least five minutes. Remove any socks or pantyhose. Remove all heavy objects, such as jewelry, watches, belts, wallets, and jackets. Warm yourself up for 20 minutes in cold weather. Use the bathroom. Prior to testing, don't eat or exercise for at least three hours. Consume alcohol or excess caffeine for at least 24 hours. Use a shower or a sauna. Use lotion or ointment on your hands and feet. Do maintain your normal fluid intake the day before. Body water fluctuates on a day-to-day -day basis depending on eating, drinking, and exercising. When you are overhydrated, the cells swell up, leading to an overestimation of muscle mass. A lower total body water resulting from dehydration will cause lean mass values to be lower than when normally hydrated. If you feel dehydrated, like right when you wake up in the morning, 16 to 20 ounces of water roughly 45 minutes before your test will allow the body to absorb this water and rehydrate cells. Do stand upright for at least five minutes. Fluid distribution changes as your posture changes from lying down to sitting to standing. Standing causes gravity to pull blood to the legs. However, it takes time for the blood to distribute more evenly back to the upper body. Your measures are most precise when your body fluids are more evenly distributed. This is why InBody recommends standing for five to 10 minutes before testing. Do remove any socks or pantyhose. Feet must contact the in-body electrodes directly for the currents to conduct properly. Socks or pantyhose prevents direct contact between your skin and the electrodes, which will cause the results to be inaccurate. Do remove all heavy objects. Heavy objects such as jewelry, watches, belts, wallets, jackets can add to your overall weight. Since heavy objects are not being measured, the in-body will consider the excess weight as body fat resulting in inaccurate body fat mass measurements and a higher percent body fat. Do warm yourself up for 20 minutes if you're testing in cold weather. Changes in skin temperature can affect blood flow as it causes arteries and veins near the skin to either close or open. All BIA testing is recommended to be performed in a room temperature range between 68 degrees and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Do use the bathroom and don't eat or exercise at least three hours before. In-body results are affected by fluid and food consumption. Food can take 120 minutes or more to fully absorb. Similarly, if water is not absorbed and remains in the digestive tract, it cannot be reached for measurement. This will result in an increase in fat mass as water not yet absorbed will not be measured into total body water. Therefore, in-body recommends not drinking at least 45 minutes before testing, avoiding food intake for two to three hours, and using the bathroom before testing. Also, exercise may lead to increased blood circulation, which changes fluid distribution segmentally, altered water balance, sweat can influence water loss, and changes in skin and body temperature, altering fluid distribution. These changes will be different depending on the exercise routine, your body composition, and sweat rate. Don't consume alcohol or excess caffeine for at least 24 hours. Liquids like alcohol or caffeine are considered diuretic, causing you to lose fluids. However, if you drink one cup of coffee in the morning every day, it is more important to keep that daily routine when testing on the in-body. Don't use a shower or sauna. Similar to warming up yourself in cold weather, showering in hot or cold temperature can affect skin blood flow. Also, saunas can cause dehydration due to water loss from sweat. Don't use lotion or ointment on your hands and feet. Using too much lotion or ointment may weaken the conductivity of current sent to the body. Use an in-body tissue to clean your hands and feet before the test to enhance conductivity. For further questions, feel free to reach out to InBody.